Hi everyone, welcome back to the 442 podcast. And today, Liam, we've got the red car rock, big day waiter, <laughs> formerly of Middlesbrough, Darlington, Bolton, Oldham, Doncaster. He's played 473 games, scoring a mass of 35 goals. Been in every England squad, every gay age group. Yep. But we're going to get on to that. But today we welcome Mr. Wheater. We certainly do welcome Mr. Wheater. How thanks are you doing? For, thanks for having me. Yeah, good. Good after to see brekkie. you. Yeah, good very to see good, you. Yeah. Looking good after that brekkie. That's it to you. You're looking very good at, at the Correct. moment. Yeah. Yeah. Getting there. <laughs> Getting there. <laughs> Middlesbrough, how did it all start there? Um, Christ, I think I was seven. Uh, just playing for my local team. Teesside Athletic it was then, which is now Red Car Athletic. Um, but yeah, I think someone just came up to me dad, said, will he come for trials at Middlesbrough? Uh, just went from then, yeah, seven till 23, I left Middlesbrough, so yeah, they were a good, good long time. Was it a boyhood team? Well, back then it was like, it was Man United, wasn't it? Whoever was winning the trophies when you're younger, you... and I, I loved Eric Cantona as well, so I had the shirt, a little flicky up collar, but um, I think after a while, I think my granddad and my dad made sure that I, su I supported Middlesbrough. But it started off Man United? Yeah, it was just it was winning, wasn't it? You know, I think you've actually then, didn't you've actually gone down in a few. You know what? I, th I think I think my first ever one was an Arsenal one. <coughs> yeah. Did they win it in? When did uh, he score at Anfield? That fella. Oh, Michael Thomas. Is it eighty nine? <laughs> so there'd been about two or something. Ninety one. Was it around there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that was my first ever shirt an Arsenal one. So basically, you just jumped on whoever was winning. Oh yeah, whoever was winning. Yeah. No question. Yeah. We're loading oh. a lot here, aren't we? we? Are. <laughs> and now Middlesbrough are going to get promoted this year, hopefully. They've done well, haven't they? Since Carrick's gone in there. Yeah, flying. Well, Wilder was there, wasn't he? It just, it just looked like his heart wasn't in it. Or he, he, he wasn't happy for summer. I think all the backs, back, what is it, backstage stuff or whatever you call it. Uh, he, he want, I think he wanted more control, maybe. But he, he didn't have it. Or he want, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. But he, he looked like he, he wasn't happy. But Carrick's come in, yeah, flying. I think you've hit the nail on the head there, actually. Now, thinking back on it, he hasn't looked happy since he left Sheffield United, did he? He doesn't look happy now, does he? I've seen a... No. Where is he now? Watford. Watford, yeah, I seen an interview the other day. He didn't look happy at all. Not his usual passion itself. Yeah. But yeah, like I say, Carrick's come in. He flew up from where they were to where they are now. And do you think with Carrick going so well, obviously, Steve Gibson, the chairman, who I think is probably one of the best chairmen in, yeah. in the Football League, uh, probably piqued his interest again as well. And, and he's been tremendous, hasn't he, for Middlesbrough? Yeah, uh, Gibson. Yeah, yeah, he's been yeah, he's been class. I think ev everyone always says he's the best best chairman in the game, um, and he's he's stuck by me. He's been there since '86, so probably one of the longest as well. Uh, he was terrific for me. Looked after my family at games, and um, and when I probably talk about it, when I went away with England, he paid for them to come over to Trinidad, which and he was in the same hotel as we were, so that wasn't cheap. But he's he's, he's got it to spare and all that. But uh, <laughs> now nah, a good guy. Let me bring you back. Big bad defender. Yeah. Were you always a defender at Middlesbrough? I wasn't, you know. Um, I th I started, I went to Middlesbrough when at Teesside, I was a right winger. Flying right winger I was. Um, big ball cut, blonde hair, flying, da flying down the line. Um, I think I got to about under 10s maybe. I was a striker till then. And some guy, one of the, we played three, three parts of the game. I, I started the first, came off the second and one of the defenders got injured and he shouted me. He said, uh, do you want to go in defence? I was like, not really. But I went on, enjoyed myself and just stayed there ever since. Yeah, That's why my nose is like this, though. And you get more money as strikers, don't you, like John? I true, wish, John? I wish. You've got a nice straight me. nose. You get the there, same note that, me, that my nose isn't straight, <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> Made your debut <clears throat> for Middlesbrough. Yeah. Lisbon. It's Lisbon, yeah. 89th minute, you come on. Oh, yeah. For Stuart Parnaby. Yeah. What we can't find out is... Was it nil nil or one nil to Lisbon when you come on? I think it was one. What, what did it end up? Was it one nil? You come on the 89th yeah, minute. Yeah, we didn't concede when I was on. I know that, so it must have been one nil. Yeah. Right. So you come but, on after um, they scored. Yeah, because I think we we lost the first leg. I think that might have been two nil. So we obviously need to score three or four, whatever, in four minutes, whatever injury time was. So it wasn't going to happen. But he, he shouted. I think he was going to bring Colin Cooper on, who was 37 at the time. And I think Coops has said to him, put me on, which was fantastic with Coops. I mean, some players probably won't even think of that. you just go on, wouldn't you? But uh, as soon as he shouted me, I was straight up kit off. I was stood next to him and he was like looking for me. And he was there. I, I, was the, I was the other side of him ready to come on, me kit, kit ready. But yeah, just getting on for the for a few minutes. I mean, did you get a kick? 
Yeah, but I don't think it counted because uh, it was a foul and he's blew the whistle and it's come to me and I've passed it to my own player, 100% pass completion. So it might not count in me, uh, me touch. So that year then, were you training with the first team? Yeah, we. Um, it was always, it was class at Middlesbrough. We all, we, as soon as we left school and we went in the academy, we always, one of us was always training with the first team because we were obviously in the same uh, training ground. We'd get there and when the guys say who was, who was with the first team today, there was always someone training with the first team. It, but it was, it was just brilliant. So everyone knew your name. Uh, so it makes you feel good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, the first team, like uh, obviously clubs I've been to after, you hardly know some of the academy lads. You just don't see them. And I just think, yes, that's not right that we were always in the, in, in, involved with them, like dinner time with them and stuff. So, yeah, it was just being around them. Obviously, Southgate was the manager there. Uh, well, he was a player, a player actually. A player, so, yeah, he was playing when that's what I'm at. Yeah, when, when I was there. Ekiog, Botang, Mendieta, I mean, guys like that. You're rubbing names off what I've got here. I'm going to say Mendieta, Downing, Ray Parler. Ray Parley. Hasselbank. Obviously, Ray Parler borrowed me some money to get a stripper in my bear once. What's he done? Borrowed me some money to get a stripper in my bear. When you were a young lad. <laughs> yeah, I was young. I was young before before me missus, so it was, it was yeah. You're like, you've got to live. You can't enjoy life got without to enjoy living, can you? In my bear as well, you got to, haven't you? Never been. One place I've never been. But I want to talk about Mark Viduka with her then. Yeah. We? What was he like? Brilliant. Um, <coughs> such a f <coughs> nice guy, fun funny guy, but honestly, on the pitch, he was probably one of the only strikers you couldn't get the ball off. He just he just hold you and you, you couldn't get around him. He, he, he knew he was going to cry turn or do summer, but you just couldn't get it for some reason. I don't know why. He, he, but he'd, he'd elbow you, he'd elbow the young lads. and. What, even in training? Oh, yeah. But then he'd like laugh at you, but then off the pitch, <laughs> brilliant. You've got to learn somehow, haven't you? I always say that. Him, him and Hasselbank, probably I learnt more off yeah. than anyone. Would you say you learnt more off them? Then like Big Hugo and Southgate, even though they were defenders. Yeah, I think so. Obviously, they helped you defend, but I, them them two made you toughen up. And if I probably didn't toughen up, then I was a little weedy. I mean, I was six foot four, but I was about eighty kilograms, so there's nothing on me. And I, I I wouldn't have made it if I didn't play against them in training and stuff because they show you what you're gonna come up against. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Pick oh. one. Oof. Hasselbank, Viduka. Oh. On the day. It's like one of John's questions, isn't it? Um, it is actually. I just is this a one-word answer? No, I just because oh, I've got mine. I'm trying to think about myself. Actually, that is a really hard one. I'd go for Duke all day. Why? I think he's unplayable. <coughs> Every time I, when he's on his day, I think he's unplayable. Yeah, Hasselbank was class or either foot. Probably had a better shot, didn't he, Hasselbank? Oh, the worst pain I've ever had. In January in obviously Dallow, where they, they trained her with, he smacked me inside of the thigh. Hasselbank, with a shot. I had a night tick for about three weeks. <laughs> just. Bang, yeah. But uh, I'll go Hassel. Who do you say, Viduka? Yeah. I'll go Hasselman. I would I would say Viduka, all-round player, i.e. back to go, holding it up, yeah. bringing people into play. But as an out-and-out -out striker, I'd go Hasselman. All day. John knows. Well, he was on the he fence was a, and he were off the fence then, wasn't he? No, you, he, I think <laughs> he's, he's done <laughs> both, both there, 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 you know No, overall, Hassel, Hasselman, you'd have to say, so your final answer. Goals. Yeah. Hasselman. Yeah. Yeah. He was a knob on the pitch, so Hasselman. Oh, he'd, Mouthy. He'd, oh, he'd hammer you. Hammer, used to hammer Stewie down in all the time for not crossing it, but off the pitch, great guy. So your full debut, do you remember that? Uh, well, me, me Premier League debut, I, I come on at Arsenal when it was 5-0 and we finished 7-0, so not too bad. I had half an hour, so a better ratio of goals there. Uh, my full debut, I think, was West Ham against, I think, Teddy Sheridan was playing. So that was good to play against him. And uh, your mum's actually ran on the West Ham coach, somehow, I don't know how she's got there, she said she ran on with uh, his shirt, or my shirt, I can't remember what it was, and she got Teddy Sharon up beside it. So she just charged on? She charged on, yeah. So she carried not believe then. it. Yeah, she's a yeah, she's character, yeah, all right. <laughs> That's, that, I like that. What Get out of the way. Nice to keep that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I had that to think. Southgate <laughs> told me off one time for um, getting Drogba's shirt. Do you like getting a shirt? I, I love I, I got all my got my Dalo shirt signed the other day off all the lads and said, "What are you doing?" I said, oh, "I love, I like, yeah. I always get memorabilia and stuff." I took oh my little lad said, "That's mine now." So I said, "It's not, mate." But yeah, <laughs> he loves be. all that. But yeah, Southgate said, um, "Wait till they ask you." And I'm thinking, these players aren't going to ask me, and then I'm not going to have no, anything no, to look back on. 
no disrespect. I mean, it's not about them not asking you. It, you turn around and you think that's your opportunity. Oh yeah. And if not, somebody else is going yeah. to nick that shirt, isn't it? Yeah. The one time I probably shouldn't have. Uh, Rooney's elbowed me in a game, like proper smashed me. But I haven't gone down. I didn't dive or anything. I just took it and I said, "For not going down, can I have your shirt at the end of the game?" And he said, "Yeah." That was the only time I've asked in a game. Would have been a red. Oh, 100%, yeah. If there was VI, it'd have been So off. you saved them by staying on your you feet? You might not have been. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you never know now, do you? Oh, honestly, he conked me right in the beak. OK, overall, all your career, best shirt you've, you've swapped? Uh, oh, that's a good question, that. I've got, I've got... There's, like, four good ones I've got. Pick one? I've got the shirt... Oh, I'll pick one. Uh, John Terry's my favourite defender. That's signed, so I've got his. So I'd probably say that. But then Lampard's my favourite... Midfielder, it's like a Chelsea thing. I don't know why. He signed that, and Drogba signed his. Um, Chelsea again. How many teams does he support? So he supported Arsenal, <laughs> Chelsea, Chelsea, Man Liverpool. United, Middlesbrough, <laughs> yeah. Bolton. I've got Giggs's Giggs's yeah. shirt, yeah. But that's not signed. But he owns that place in um, Wilm. Is it Wilmslow? Wilmslow. Yeah. I said. Um, I said if I see him any, I'm going to ask him. Walked in and he's bang right there in front of the door. I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Proper crumbled. And Mrs. Said, Why didn't you ask him? I said, it's Giggsy. I can't see you, Captain Crumble. I know, I wouldn't normally, but it's Giggsy, isn't it? I should have just asked. I, I know. Shared the same pitch with him. Exactly. He gave me the shirt. I just said, oh, you give me. He said a lot to me. I said, are hey, you all right? And I just didn't say, can I bring my shirt round and will you sign it for me? Going back to your full debut, were you aware of it that week you were playing? So you could tell your uh, friends and family? No, I, got, I think I got told the day before because I was on loan at Doncaster. Um, I think Steve Round, who's Arteta's assistant now, uh, rang me and said, you're coming back, you're, you're playing tomorrow. I was, I was thinking, what, what is he going on about here? I've got, I've got a Doncaster game. Uh, but yeah, just came back and he said, you're starting. You played well, didn't you? I played all right. I think I got man of the match, you know. So there you go, then you yeah, played really well. Yeah, not bad. We, I think we won 2-0. I nearly, uh, I think Schwartz has made a cracking save first minute because the ball's come to me, I've tried to control it, it just bounced off me. To Marlon Harewood, and he's just volleyed it straight as Schwarzer. But that was like 30 seconds in. I'm thinking, oh, if he didn't save that, it wasn't going to go well. But yeah, he saved me there. Schwarzer. He was there a long time. He's a great good server. Goal, yeah. Good, good goal. Good goal, Schwarzer. Very good goal. Yeah. Nice guy as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of nice guys. 2007 season. Proper making it your own there. Yeah. 40 games yeah. under Gareth Southgate, then now manager. Yeah. What was he like, player to manager? Did yeah, he it, was, it was all right. Um, I can't remember what was the, year, the season before. Um, I think I went on loan at Darlow the season before, actually, when he it was his first season of manager. So I missed that. But just coming back, obviously, it was hard. It was just weird. From He went from player to manager and straight away. So you didn't really know what to call him. Sometimes you'd call him Gareth or whatever you'd call him. Oh, jeez, it's a gaffer, isn't it? But it was, it was good to me. Um, he kept me in the team when he, he could have put the other lads that had been injured in. So, yeah, he, he done well by me. Doesn't come across as one of the managers who's going to be like a shouter like Fergie or Marino. No, he's not been shouting at me all the time. Done my head in a bit because I, I was a young lad. I think I, sometimes I felt like he was using me to make himself look tougher. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Do you not think possibly that could have been the case that he maybe saw you coming through to take his place mm. and he wanted... Yeah, you maybe, to be yeah. maybe fashioned in his way yeah. sort of thing. He did it once, though. I, I got sent off at Hull. It was that Giovanni, was it? Ah, right, um, Brazilian. It was yeah. City, wasn't it? First. Yeah, he was about five yards offside. So I've, but then he's got the ball and he's not give offside. I've chased back, shoulder barged him, but he's dived and I got sent off. And he hammered me in the in the changing rooms for not listening the day before in training. And I remember I wasn't I wasn't listening. He was talking and he went, "Wait, what did I just say?" And I just said. Um, Play a high line, just random guess. He went, no. So he was, he was saying that. He said, you weren't listening yesterday, you weren't listening today. But then the next day, he seen that he was offside and he, he come and apologised to me. So that was all right. But yeah, after he hammered me in front of everyone. But you go to jail free there, really. Yeah. <coughs> we, I think we lost that game, though, with that penalty I give away. Well, that season as well, you singed Mido. <laughs> was, like <laughs> was he on fire that season? <laughs> He weren't bad me though, you know, when he when he fancied it. He had some good house parties though. He had a cracking house in Darlow. Yeah. The big jacuzzi thing in his garden. So yeah, we had a had a few parties there. But he, um he was just he was funny. He came back one pre-season, he was massive. 
proper massive. When you say massive, do you mean it doesn't look like a footballer massive? No, yeah, huge. It was a couple of stone over yeah. money. And someone said to him, Mido, what have you been doing? He said, I eat all my money. <laughs> <laughs> and he, well, he must have had a bit, yeah. He'll huge, be the he first was. Egyptian king then, wasn't he? Because he was... Yeah, it was some, high profile over yeah, there. It was some it? mad rumours going on that he was a prince and all this, but I think he's, I don't know, his missus or something had a lot of money. Something was going on. Was he a character? Yeah, he was a good guy, yeah. Nice fella, but he um, he just seemed like switched. It's sort of like what Ibrahimovic is sort of like. I think they had a fight at Ajax one time over summer. And he was sort of like that. He just switched and he'd be, be angry and he just couldn't snap him out of it. When he was on it, though, he was a decent player. Yeah, real good player. I think he scored in the first, his first two or three games. So yeah. we thought, oh, we've got a, got a player got a play here on our hands. And yeah, it just, it just didn't work out for some reason. I don't know why. Just went off the track too easy. Yeah, just eating, his, eating his money. Eating his money. <laughs> <laughs> so we've touched on him, Steve Gibson. You're in the Premiership. He always backed the club and the managers, didn't mm -hmm. he? I've got one here. Alfonso Alves. £12 million. Pound. Yeah. Was he a bit of a flop? On my recollection, or not? Yeah, well, you've got to say he was for what he cost, and obviously wages he'll have been on. But if it was, he scored the same amount like as Van Nistelrooy, didn't he? In that in that Dutch league, so it was a gamble, wasn't it? If he if he produced half of, half of what Van Van Nistelrooy produced, he'd have been all right. But I always say he was one of the best at getting in the positions, getting runs off the defenders. But you just seem to. Hit it straight at the keeper so many times. I mean, but he scored um he scored a hat trick the last game of the season when we beat City 8 1. And that's what he just signed in January. He scored a couple against Man United. So another another one where we say, Oh, we've got a player here and he'd be flying. But yeah, the next season we got relegated, he just just couldn't score. Trying, but just couldn't score. Oh, trying, yeah, he got in the positions brilliantly. Yeah. Even in training. We always he always used to kick it like you know Rashford how he kicks it now when he could just curl it in the corner. Mm. But they always seem to try and wobble it and lace it. He, he used to do that and hit it straight at the keeper. So we've touched on Steve Gibson. I think for me, he's got to be the best owner of any football club yeah. anywhere in the world or ha ever has been. Yeah. When you were at Middlesbrough, did he ever like come in the changing rooms or did he just stay away? No, I've never, never seen him in the changing rooms. So um, he's just the best, isn't he? He's just <laughs> the best here. That's really, what he should be. I don't think he spoke much to the... Players, really. He, he rang me once when um, he was getting stracken. Uh, after my debut, he got me and my family in for a meal. I think he did that with every new debutant. Um, that was the only times I really heard from him. So he got you in for a meal when you made your debut? Yeah. Um, yeah. What obviously, class is that? Obviously after, yeah. I think he did it with everyone in his, obviously, private room in the, in the stadium. Got your mum and dad, your sister or brother or whatever you had. Um, yeah. I think it was two of us made a debut. When I did, so yeah, got us both in our families. Who was the other lad? Uh, Jason Kennedy. He's at uh, Mask now, I think, just down the road. Good guy, but yeah, it was just not, obviously nice of him. Sent us an invite, saying dinner in, in the chairman's suite. So, yeah. For me, he's just gone. That's a touch of, it is, it's a touch of class and mm. it's, just, it's an inclusivity thing, really, because it brings just brings a yeah, family you in. You don't get much, you wouldn't even no. imagine it, how would you? You're lucky to get a ticket now, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's, flipping it, yeah. Yeah. But that's a bit special, that, because yeah, it, it makes good. memories, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, like I said before, he, he, he paid for my family to go to Trinidad as well. And he didn't have to. He just, he just, he just said, I, th I don't know who he rang. He might have got the secretary to ring my mum and dad, said, I'm paying for you to go over. Because I was supposed to make my debut. Um, everyone was supposed to get on, and then just before the kickoff, they said, oh, it's only three subs now, so I didn't get on. Instead of five. I think I think it was just, it wasn't friendly. Subs. It was a friendly, but then obviously everyone was going to get on. Yeah. But then they said it was some cup match, some random cup match that they made up. So yeah, turned to three or four subs, yeah. So I didn't get on. Woody got on. I mean, he got, I was thinking, Woody, let me. Come on, mate. You've got you've got your caps. Let me let me go on. What when we used to go down with a strain I or know, something? Oh yeah, I thought it was going out. I was like, oh, come on. I was warming up, and full time whistle went, and mum and dad were like, I said, I oh, know, but. Ah, oh, there's a bit of gold at the end of the story, though, isn't there? On the warm down, was it true you was uh, pinging three kicks in with our, oh, our backs? No, it was training. Yeah, training, that. We'd finished training. Um, Capello goes, All right, everyone go cool down. So everyone's stretching. But Bex is going to do three kicks. I'm thinking, I'm not missing this chance. <laughs> I was straight over them. They're probably looking at me, like, like six foot four, six foot five, skinny lad going to take three kicks. I'm like, this is not going to look good. But I swear I was better than him at three kicks. That day, I'm not saying ever, 
for that day. And he, he looked at me, I put one in the top corner, he went, fuck yeah, no wait. Please tell me you were like a young boy running over, Bex, Bex, hold on, oh, I was, I'll I was, fire a few with you. I was straight up, I said, oh, can I take a few with you? He said, yeah, no problem. <laughs> I even said to him one time, so I'm going to go keep the side here. Joe Hart was in goal, whipped it, just went in like the, in the triangle at the top corner. It was just all going perfect. Capello came over, went, that's enough now. So I'll just finish on a goal. <laughs> straight over, over the wall, top bin. He's obviously taken quite a bit from you. Bex. I think he had, you know, yeah. I'm telling you. I was like, you. just take your time, Bex. He was hitting the wall and all this. I was like, Bex, just relax, mate, relax. Do you Get your foot he under it. it. funny, didn't it? I bet he would have, he would have loved that, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's probably thinking, what is going on here? But then who's he who's this guy? He would have loved it, wouldn't he? Yeah. It was good, though. It's, yeah, some memory. I don't mention it much, though, me and, me and Bex. I don't, don't talk about it much. Well, there's a few things <laughs> I've done in the past I don't talk about, John, do I? <laughs> and we don't. can see the results of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> But a roo roof. 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 What the hell's a roo roof? <laughs> like, just like that. Singed. <laughs> Singed, yeah. Mm. Did another Turkish lad at Middlesbrough, Tunshine. Tony, yeah. Like to party with the Jack Daniels, is that right? Four, yeah. Tony Tunkai, I used to call him. His, middle, his, his Middlesbrough name. But yeah, he used to come out in the local <laughs> town with me, red cards down the road. And he, he, he just used to come back to my house and tell us to love Jack Daniels. He used to be drinking Jack Daniels and that. and... But he scored a Champions League hat trick just before he come to Middlesbrough, and now he's with me in in the local town. I'm thinking, what is going on here? And now he's at my house. And is it, from, is it Fenerbahce you were from? Fenerbahce, yeah. He was a smoker as well. He go he go in the hotels, put the bag on the on the smoker like that, and he'd be yeah just puffing away. <laughs> Good English. I was all right, yeah, but yeah. Um, just like some, some Turkish guys that live around here, and they just, just tapped onto him. Oh yeah, I think they must have just messaged him or something, and then he was like, "Yeah, you're my new mates now." So they, so they used to come around my house as well. Yeah, it's good. It was good, good player, fun. though. What a player! Yeah, good, good. Player. Well, yeah, good when he when he, fa when he fancied it, he yeah. was he was top draw. He could run a game. Yeah. Shrack and come in. Southgate left. How'd you get on with Gordon? He was all right when I was here. He was, I hated his interviews, though, when he tried to be funny and that. I just thought, oh, it's just annoying, these interviews. Do you know what I mean? He's, yeah, when he tries to be funny. Is he your mate? No. No, good, that's all right then. Yeah, he's a no. knob. <laughs> it's, oh, I get what you're saying, because thinking back on them, like he, it was like he was trying... It was a game of cat and mouse, wasn't yeah. it, with the, with the reporters and stuff? Yeah. I don't know why he just can't, just can't give a normal <clears throat> answer, though. No. Like, but he, was, um, he brought the old SBL down, didn't he? I think he brought about 12 of them and it just, just didn't work out for him. I mean, Chris Boyd, McDonald scored hundreds of goals in, in the SPL and they struggled in the championship. Yeah, Barry Robson down. The lad who's just was, He was a good player, yeah. yeah. He just took over, is it Aberdeen? Aberdeen, yes. Yeah. Seen a few of them off in the pub, though, the Scots. Yeah. Yeah, supposedly big drinkers backdoored it after one night. Good handle, you big fella. No, not, no. Ma not many Not in can. the same league. No. What did Mr Shearer call uh, Billy Dodds? Or two can down or something. Two can down. <laughs> no, it was Billy McKinley. Billy McKinley. Billy McKinley. Two can down. <laughs> yeah, we Billy. Two cans. That was it. Anyway. Nice guys, though. All yeah. Them, all them Scots. Yeah. They were good guys. Good in addressing them. Yeah. Yeah, they were. McManus was good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Two thousand eight. Played thirty eight times. English centre half. Now people must have been looking at you. Rumours. Portsmouth come in for you. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, they get. I think. I think. Offered. <laughs> I got offered something when I wasn't supposed to have been offered it, but yeah. Uh, we, we're fine, that's... I don't want to grass any managers up, yeah, but I, I got offered something. Does uh, he like Jam Roly Paul? It'd have been Harry, wouldn't it? Harry Redknapp would have been. It might, it might have been. It would have been. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think, yeah, my agent just said, oh, obviously these these want you. But I just wanted to stay at Middlesbrough. I mean, there was rumours of Liverpool and Tottenham. Uh, I got told, is it Adrian Bevington? Yes. Worked with England, uh, with Capello. He was telling me how um, Capello's assistant came and watched me and that. And then he brought Tottenham's assistant to come watch me and stuff like that. But I never wanted to go anywhere. I was I was happy at Millsborough. Did you just get relegated then? Uh, we got relegated that... S what season we talking about? 2008. Eight, 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 nine season, yeah, we yeah. got relegated that season. So you... It's your long-time club as well. You yeah. Join a bit of I mean, there was, a bit there of was, class as well, Yeah, you? there was teams wanting me... Straight after that, but I wanted to get Borough back up. But yeah, it's just, it's, I was happy. It was a hometown. I was, I was captain when I left. I was, uh, I, well, I was captain. Yeah, I didn't want to go anywhere. I was, I was happy. So Bolton come knocking. 
Yeah. What was the difference there then? What was uh, your mind up? Well, the training ground wasn't as good as, as Middlesbrough's. Right. That was that was weird because obviously from the Championship <coughs> to Premier League, you'd, you'd be thinking that, but you know, lost up, didn't you? It was, it was all right. It was good. Um, but again, I didn't want to leave Middlesbrough. Mowbray came up to me and, and said, uh, you going? I said, where? He said, oh, Bolton. I was like, I don't want him. But then I looked at the thing, they were about seventh in the Premier League and we were in the championships. So I thought, yeah, probably decent move that. And yeah, it turned out all right. I was there eight and a half years at Bolton, yeah. Eight and a half good years. Yeah. As well. Some dodgy ones at the end. No, but, but yeah, I mean, for different reasons, but... I mean, you cemented yourself with the, with the fans. Yeah. The fans love you to this day. I wish I'd just well. stayed. Obviously, I'd probably get well, onto it, but yeah, I just wish I'd stayed. But the fee, 2.6 million. Yeah. What was trying to get that earlier when I asked you, what then, there was other clubs in for you and you were never interested. Yeah. What made your mind up on Bolton? Was it the case that the club told you you were going? Yeah. it was. I think, obviously, because <coughs> Strachan bought all them players, the wage bill was massive. Um, and I think... Borough needed to sell players. I think me, me and Stewie got sold. Um, Gary O'Neill got sold. So I think I, I, I sort of got pushed out of the club. Not in a bad way. I think they needed to. But yeah, like I say, looking at the Premier League table and how high Bolton were, I thought it'd be a, a great move for me. So it was my big pal that signed you, Owen. Owen Coyle. Owen Coyle, yeah. Took you in. He's a strange old one, isn't he? <laughs> in what way? I don't know. He just was, wasn't he? All the uh, superstitions and that. Oh. Superstitions is, uh, yeah, I, I get that one. It was, uh, but a good guy to be around. Fun yeah, he was, guy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was like, I'll tell you though, I'll never forget him for not playing me in that semi final when he told me I was. Stoke City. Yeah, obviously got got. It was the game before. I think we played West Ham in the in the league, and I had four yellow cards. So he said, right, won't play you. So you play in the in the semi final. Said, yeah, no problem. And the one two nil because he was superstitious, he kept same team than he's that night and Gaz Gaz played. But because he told me he played, I got all my family down on the train. Going to pretty didn't tell me the day before pre match, out the out the uh, the lift doors. And he's just sat there. He said, "Wait, I was like, you are fucking kidding me." Here we go. You knew. Oh yeah, I knew. Yeah, when he said when he said that straight for like three hours before kick off or whatever it was, he said, "Oh, I'm 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 going to put you on the bench today." I said. I said, right. He said, no, don't be like that. You might come on. I said, yeah, fine. Not a lot you can say, is it? You can't. You can't. What, no. He's not going to change his mind, is make it? a decision. That someone's going to be left out yeah. just because he said you were playing. Well, honestly, I was, I was just, when, when they started conceding the goals, I was obviously not happy, but I was thinking that wouldn't have happened if I was playing. It, but it might, it might, or it probably would have. But yeah. That's the obvious thought, isn't it? Like, mm. it wouldn't happen if I was playing. Yeah. But... Looking back on it now, it's probably a good game not to be involved in. I know, but that's, I've never played at Wembley. Never. Have you not? No, I've been on the bench there, that, <coughs> that game and bench for England. Right. Never played there. Never played? No. Wow. wow. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Every, yeah. <laughs> everyone's played at Wembley, but yeah. Well, I've not, Just, that helps. Hmm? I've not played there. Have so. you not? No, so. Oh, me neither. I never played that match for you, but I left after Twice. 20 minutes. The new one? Not the new one, yeah. the old one. Uh, I was too old than you. Yeah. <laughs> Against Liverpool, did you play the cup Liverpool cup? and if at Liverpool League Cup final yeah. and Reading. Reading in the playoff final. Yeah. Same year. I remember watching that that Liverpool game. Yeah. Seven weeks apart. Uh, yeah. And again, dream and play there. Uh, yeah, exactly. We, yeah. we were That's actually what I thought I was going. We were actually talking about it the <laughs> other day and saying that the amount of top top players that have never played at Wembley. Yeah. Because people. Criticise oh Papa John's trophy final and all that. Oh, yeah. It's only the Papa John. No, it's a final at Wembley. It filled it up, do you mean? I, absolutely. So to get the opportunity in any final, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's probably more there than most of the finals that go on anyway. Well, Papa when you John's look at it, I mean, what was it? Eighty thousand there. Yeah, 80, so yeah. eighty thousand there. I think there were sixty nine thousand there for the semi final with yeah, Man City. Exactly. Yeah. And that there. So. Well worth it. One of the best days in football yeah, I've had yeah. as a family day. I said to you, it's flipping hot though. In that well, stand. you were in the sun. Oh, Christ. I purposely got your tickets right in the sun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you stuck me in the... What did you put me in? The safe standing first. I said, John, I can't be stood in the middle of the fans here, mate. But you sorted me out, didn't you? I got you in a good bit, didn't I? Yeah, yeah you got me in a crack. Club Wembley. Yeah. yeah. It was good, but the only thing, like you Deer said... Deer though, yeah. in there, flipping it. Nine pounds for some chicken nuggets. 
Obviously, both kids wanted chicken nuggets, so there you go. Yeah. Did you have a beer as well? I think, you know, I paid about £4 for a bottle of water. <laughs> Should have got a beer. I know, you? yeah. I'll tell you what I would say as well, Schumacher, the uh, the manager of Plymouth, he deserves credit, by the way. I'm not, not, I haven't heard anybody else mention this. At the end of the game, they've obviously been spanked royally. Mm. He kept every player on that pitch yeah. until the last Bolton player lifted the trophy. Now they all go down mm. the line, yeah. and then he says, right, on your score. I do the same. Yeah. Another thing I hate is when, when you get your runners-up trophy and they just take it off straight away and think you've played all these games to get here. You've had and a you tough, think tough game. Just keep your medal on. Sure. You're too good to wear a runners-up medal. I know, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Second best team in yeah. how many other teams? But no, credit them. Better yeah. class that. No, keep them on. Make it hurt. You know, make them watch it. Make it hurt. Yeah. And uh, that was good. Yeah. Good management, that. I mean, like you just said. I think so. Yeah, yeah, respect, but more. Don't let that up never again. Absolutely. Mm. So I'm going to bring you back to Bolton, the move. Some big hitters, Gary Cale, Stuart Oldham, Martin Petroff, Kevin Davis. Yeah. Daniel Sturridge were there. Yeah, he came with me, Sturridge, Along, yeah. yeah. At the same time. Mark Davis, Marcus Alonso, Chung Young Lee. Was it easy to fit in from a lad from Yeah, it was America? all right. I, I, you know what? I didn't feel like I would fit in, but then I'm, I started thinking, I, I played in the Premier League two years ago for two, se two three seasons, so, and they've paid for me, so they must think I'm, I'm decent. As soon as you start like chatting to people, you just you just get into it. And obviously watching Kevin Davis for years, Paul Robinson left back, you think it, you you are quite nervous. But yeah, you just get you just get into it when you we start training with them and they see how good you are and you can put yourself about. Yeah, you just get into it. Silent assessing, assassin Kevin Davis, wasn't it? He was horrible, you know. Oh, he'd smash you in training, not pick you up or anything, just walk off. I remember, I don't know who he did for Bolton, I think he was like a United player, and he just stood over, looked like was, that. Um, just stirred. Cleverly, and wasn't just it? just walked off like. Cleverly. No facial expression. No, he did, did it in training. I said to him, well, I said, why did you do that? He said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to ask you something now, something no one knows about. So, Middlesbrough's told you, moving to Bolton. How does that move go then? Does your agent come to Bolton for you? Do your personal. Stuff and then when mm. you get to Bolton, who looks after you to say, Right, you want to live here? What happens? That was just um, major rang me, said, You're going. So I went with my dad to sign. Um, I think the lads were off, it was it must have been a Wednesday. Um, a couple of injured lads were in, so yeah, just signed my contract, played table tennis with a gaffer, got hammered. <laughs> that, was the, that was the first thing, but is your agent done all your yeah, yeah, work, yeah they, they, they do all the stuff, yeah. And then he said, Just go sign, so yeah, I took my dad. Um, yeah, that was it. That was it, really. So no help for say. No, but uh, little really Dino got... was there. Can you remember him? Yes, little Dino. They had yeah. a, like a player liaison. So are they a big help? Yeah, they are. For, yeah, he, I stayed in the hotel for two weeks at the stadium, which I, I quite liked. There was a bed and a TV, perfect for me. And then obviously McDonald's around the corner, perfect. Happy days. Yeah, and then yeah, they just he just says like, what sort of house do you want and all this? And he look, he just texts you to the houses. It was Paddy McGuinness's that I uh, I rented off him. So you had Paddy McGuinness's yeah. house then? <laughs> but uh, it was quite cheap for, for what it was. And I turned up in a Ferrari at his house, didn't I? And he said, I should, I, I need to raise my prices here, don't I? Oh, do Did you have a black one? Black one, yeah. I remember yeah. that. I remember seeing that. Waste of money. Okay, Great car, but waste, waste, waste of money. How did you get in? It was a struggle, like, yeah. I had to like, sort of like squat. I couldn't do it now. You said like squat and chuck yourself in. No wonder you've got a bad back. I know, that's it, you know. Yeah, like getting in a bobsleigh. <laughs> Honestly, not, people think they're lovely cars, aren't they? But they're just... They're, to look at. To look at, yeah, they're not, not to drive, no. and, to, and to listen to. Yeah, they sound good, don't they? Down Charlie New Road, Revenue. Yeah, I'm going to ask you. Red lights, did you ever... Vroom, vroom, vroom. Were you one of them? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now and again. <laughs> but it's when you turn it on, it does that. Itself? By itself, yeah, so that, that was good. But people always want to race you and you're like, yeah, no props, come on then. <laughs> Read a story, playing away at Man City. Yeah. Playing great. Mario Balotelli, completely in your pocket. Yeah. He gets dragged off. Mm -hmm. You think, happy days. Ed and Jekko come on. Yeah. You try to put a little marker on him oh, and yeah. Yeah. nothing happened. No, he didn't move. Nah, yeah. Honestly, that day I had belt, yeah. 
Pop Rad Ballard telling me back pop, kicking him all sorts. He was diving about. Got subbed off about 65 minutes. And someone's just played the ball into Dzeko, so I've gone in full force, like, proper booted him in his kill. He's, he's just not moved one bit. I think, Jesus Christ, this is going to be a tough one. But, yeah, yeah he's just got to keep going, and not you? Just keep kicking him. But, yeah, he, did, he didn't didn't feel any of it. Well, you're a chatter when you're defending, like, pecking at the rest. To the other team? <coughs> yeah. Not really, no. No. Nah. I try, I try, I try to, like, talk to him, just pretend I'm nice, and then, then kick him when they're, when they're least expecting it. Because we had Wes Brown on, he said he used to love Bellamy because Bellamy used to be oh, yeah. all the time, but he'd be calling his own players, never mind. Oh, yeah, he, he called me a big big chin C word. I don't like saying the C word. But, so yeah, Bellamy give you that one? Oh, he gave me that. When I've, I've helped him up, because I've, I've caught him by accident, and I, I knew it was by accident, uh, but I, no, I mean, I knew I caught him. So I've like lifted him up. He said, you fucking big chin. I was, was going to do a Cockney accent there. He's Welsh, isn't he? <laughs> 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 but yeah, that's what he said. I was like, oh, should have just pushed him back down, shouldn't I? But yeah, he was he was horrible. Murphy. Yeah. But he could play though, couldn't he? Yeah, he was a good player, rapid, decent wasn't he? Player. Yeah. yeah, decent player. Yeah, a good player. So when you signed for Bolton, did you ever think you at that moment, could you see long term you'd be there for nine seasons? No, I didn't. But I get attached to places. I was like Middlesbrough's hometown. I didn't want to leave there. And it was the same thing with with Bolton. Once you have three or four seasons there, it's, you, it's, you you're done that. You you're there for life and yeah, just, I said a bit say again, I just wish I didn't leave and could have got me testimonial, yeah. But you're the type of boy that would fit straight <laughs> in, David, if you don't mind me saying, because it's like, Bolton people are very similar to Northeastern people, aren't they? Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah, can go out, you can have a, yeah. you know, a good night out, game of football. That's it's it, if you, try, if you try your hardest on the pitch, they, they love you. They'll stick with you forever. Yeah, even when things weren't going well, they knew, they knew that I was I was trying hard, so yeah. they, were, they were always fine with me. You used to go out when we it wasn't going so well, yeah. And the fans were all right with me. Maybe because I was bigger than them, but... I think you brought that up ages ago. What? Show your face when it's not going well. Well, you've got to. You can't just yeah. go out when it's going well and get the back slaps. You've got to go out and face the music when the things aren't going oh, as well. Oh, yeah, of course you do. And when they see you do that, I think you see you're a genuine yeah, you guy. You can't just hide, can you? You no. can't change your whole life just because things aren't going well. No. Other people in jobs have a bad day. They don't go hiding, do they? Just yeah, fair point. For us, it's a job and we yeah. have to get out and show our face, isn't it? Take the good and the bad. Of course you do, you have yeah. to. So going through the gaffers you had yeah. in your in your nine seasons, just some of them. Owen Coyle, mm -hmm. Dougie Friedman, Phil Parkinson, Neil Lennon. Yeah. A good mix of guys there. I really like Jimmy I, Jimmy Phillips for a bit. Jimmy Phillips, a yeah. caretaker as well in there. You'd read Peter Reed, Reed yeah. working alongside yeah. him as well. So you have had a good range mm. of gaffers in there, different yeah. styles, mm. different attitudes, different ways of doing things. Yeah. Who was the worst? Friedman. Yeah? Yeah. But he come high profile, didn't he? Like, oh, yeah, but he had one good season at Palace, didn't he? Yeah. But he come straight away, he changed the, uh, as you know, the tables in Lost Up. We used to sit with everyone at dinner, so you'd be sat with staff, what have you. Changed all that. Staff couldn't speak to the players, which I thought, one team, one dream, innit? You need everyone. You were still at Exton then? Yeah. It was I keep saying lost up. Yeah. yeah, I keep saying lost up. It was Exton. You were still Exton, Exton yeah. then. Yeah. It was... Uh, and it got to the stage where, at that point, David Lee, Tony mm -hmm. Kelly were doing the 23s. Yeah. They weren't allowed to go weren't up there in, for, for lunch. They I weren't know. allowed to speak to you guys, yeah. first team. How could you... Under That's 20? the thing. For, for me, I always speak to like the older players. Like, I've always speak to you and Didzy and that. Same at Borough, I always speak... I think you should speak to the old players... True respect yeah, to him and those are the old way. <laughs> older, older <laughs> players. But, it, but you weren't allowed. You, you, you didn't see anyone anymore. How can a club be run when your under twenty three manager can't yeah, speak to the first team bonkers, or even it? go and have lunch with them? Yeah, I think I spoke to him one time and he said, "I'm, I'm not allowed." Shock. I'm not allowed. To, I'm not allowed in. And that no. was Freeman. I said, yeah. what, I said, "What? What you benefit about? is that got for the team? Club can't have anything. any benefit whatsoever. Obviously, all the." Older Bolton players, so they've played for the club. So you want to talk to him about stuff, yeah. and you couldn't. But also the fact that he went in, wanted all the pictures ripped down, yeah. like the history pictures, everything else. He wanted Why? everything because he didn't want anything mentioned other than the, the present team. Mm. He didn't want anything to do with anything else. Didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, correct. He ripped the heart of the club. Yeah, he did yeah. Seriously, and and no, the no. feel with inside the club, you can say better what the dressing room mm. was like, but the actual club, the heart was ripped out. Oh yeah. The change rooms, it's always all right. It looks after itself, doesn't yeah. it? If you've got good lads in there. 
there wasn't any bad guys, so that was always all right. It was, it was just training was boring. It was just mannequin work, just passing around mannequins and stuff like that. And like I said before, we, we try to do stuff extra. You always hear Beckham and all that doing stuff after training, getting better. We weren't allowed. He said, it's on the clock, finished, in you go. So we couldn't do any extras. Do you know what? You can see why he's not got another manager job again. Yeah. Or if he did, would he change a lot? But then I've been told like, he was a great guy at, when he was a player. So I yeah. said, why change that much? Yeah. Well, that's a the proof's in the pudding, I suppose. Yeah. He hasn't worked since, has yeah. he? And he's worked in football, but not as a manager. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So it goes on. So Lennon comes in. Yeah. Difference? Crackers. Yeah? In yeah. What, in what way? Oh, he chucked stuff, chucked boards at you. Yeah, he never did it to me, actually, to, to be honest. So I was, I was all right, but he, he'd throw the, he'd come in, throw the boards. Um, it's funny, though. He, he t- he Passion. T- you'd see his car coming in. We, we're just finishing training. His car's coming in. He'd come and have a, a talk with you. Oh, I'm on over, lads. I think, yeah, I know. So I walked better. I drove past the pub and I seen you in there. <laughs> but he was, he was good. Um, I bet yeah. it was chalk and cheese, though, wasn't it? Yeah, with them two, yeah. I bet he would have, I knew he got, he got the, players, so he got the old players back involved, didn't he, sort of? He did. Yeah. He did. He tried his best. I mean, there was a few things that he also tried to do that was not back mm. from above. Yeah. But he did genuinely try to do things differently. So he should. He should. The players, past players should be involved, I think. When they've been there and done that, they always should be involved. Well, if they're part of the fabric and part of the history of your, your yeah. football club, I think it's important they're involved. Yeah. Because, like you said... They're there to help, not yeah, to help. Yeah. And it's well And it's just someone else to talk to if you're sick of your own teammates, you go talk to them. Yeah. You probably can learn something as well, can't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, as an ex player, you're gonna have respect for all the ones like you said, John, you would have been that for you, wouldn't it? Mm. Yes. So you, you just learn a bit more about the club, don't you? Yeah. I always gravitate to the former players though for some reason. Like, like Bernie at Borough, I just love talking to them about when, what it was like when they He's played. a proper beer of man though, isn't he? Yeah, he is, like yeah. You, isn't he? Bernie is one I would love to get on at some stage. Oh, he'll be on. Because I think he's, his stories are fantastic and he's, yeah, he's, uh, he's, what a character. He's, yeah, he's funny. What yeah. a goal scorer, by the way. Yeah, he totally he's vegan seen. though, so... Well, we'll have to work something And out. he doesn't drink? No. Plenty of grass on the golf course <laughs> to eat. <laughs> He'll be on that, like a donkey, wouldn't he, eating it? But no. So, Lennon, bit of an upturn. Yeah, the team. I mean, he was working with his with handcuffs on as well. Oh he? yeah, the budget had really been cut by that oh, point. Yeah. You could tell, were... the, like the players that were getting signed were just random foreign lads from far off lands and all that, mm. who have obviously never played in England. Who they were just taking chances on people, weren't they? Punts on people. Yeah, they were. To see yeah. if any came through, but yeah. I always said I don't know whether you would agree or not. I always said I would love to have seen Neil Lennon get a proper budget. Mm. And to see what he could have put together. Yeah. Rather than working within the, with the restraints he did. Yeah. It was he started off well, didn't it? Mm-hmm. And he just seated off. But I think he kind of lost interest himself. Yeah, I think looked, uh, I think it, so. I think you could tell. It looked like he was did, a bit yeah. down in the dumps yeah. with it all. I always say that about Guardiola the other way. Just put him in a rubbish team, see how it goes. You shouldn't find out with yeah, people, I don't know. you? Yeah. What you'll find you'll never know. That'll never happen, will it? It'd be great. Surely he'd, go, he'd want to test himself. Yeah, it'd be great. See, a random like club at Carlisle United. <laughs> there you go, lad. Yeah. Phil Parkinson. Yeah. That was the manager at the end for, for you, I'd imagine, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he was my last gaffer, yeah. How did it go with him? Uh, probably my most successful season in at Bolton. Obviously, we, we got promoted from League One. I think I, I won every trophy. Uh, is it a private trophy, not private, what is it? Players. Individual fans. trophy, that's the word. Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't everyone going. So it was, uh, I thought it was great. It was quiet, wasn't he? But his training was, we knew what we were doing. We we trained and then we'd done a set of pieces. And I think it showed that season we hardly ever conceded and we scored so many goals from set of pieces as well. I think we we preyed on the fact the Twin Towers that <laughs> oh, season. Yeah. Was, I mean, yeah. yourself and Beavers were yeah. magnificent that season. Yeah. Both in double figures. Yeah, well, yeah, it does. Obviously, Gaz up top was, was as big as and us. And Gary as well. Medina as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we had a threat off corners, free kicks, etc., mm. didn't we? Yeah. And we scored a lot of late, important goals. Yeah. The, fan, I, the fans didn't like the football, though, did they? Sometimes, but I mean, we got promoted first. I think, at times, first time. Well, no, I, I think if you if you turn round and, and you speak to obviously fans, it, they've been kind of spoiled down the years at times. Yeah. You know, with the football we've played. Mm. 
But I, I'm, a, I'm a believer in playing a way it's going to get you out of that oh, yeah. league you're in. Get up to Gaz's chest, that was... And that, that was, was it. it, and get players playing off them. Yeah. You know, or yourself and Beavers on the end of corner yeah. free kicks. Their argument, I think, was we were playing to stay in a game for an hour, mm. and then we maybe open up for the last 30 yeah. minutes or so, or else trying to nick a corner or a free kick. Yeah. Not always pretty on the eye, but uh, effective. We, yeah, it was, yeah. We, we, we did win a, a few games like 4-0 and 3 and that season as well, so it wasn't always bad football. No. But yeah, he, he seems to just get a bad, a bad rap for that year for some reason. I mean, when you look at it, I mean, there were some real good footballers in, yeah. in amongst the squad. It might not have been that season. He got he had a couple yeah. of seasons after that we didn't yeah. play the best, did we? But, but that 16-17 season was, was a... Yeah, it was brilliant. It was a really good season. Just good to be, obviously, involved. Fans were outside. They were happy that we were winning and got promoted. That was a good do as well. Away fans were always been happy. They're the, they're the proper, aren't they? Away fans, yeah. It's not that every football club away fans are always the the diehards, aren't they? But uh, I hate going to away away grounds because they always stand up, don't they? The away fans, and I can't I can't stand up for that long. I just need to have a nice comfy seat and relax. I remember now. You're getting old now. I am getting old, aren't I? Bash in Port Vale last game of the season or last away second, game. Second of last season. game, yeah. Second last game it was. We thought we got promoted. I mean, we scored the second goal. I said to Vella, uh, I said we're going to Fanny's tonight, aren't we? He said, oh, Fleetwood have just scored in the other game, so we had to go take it to the, to the last last game. Like you said, though, which was good partnership with Beavers, wasn't it? Yeah. Deadly. Deadly. I think we nearly broke a record for games not conceded. <clears throat> I think we had about eight or nine or something, mm-hmm. and it was maybe ten, and we, we conceded, and we were gutted. <laughs> <laughs> when you scored that goal at Port Vale, yeah. and then there was the pitch invasion mm-hmm. and everything else, we got attacked. I was doing the radio that day. <laughs> Like myself and Jack Dearden, yeah. we got apps they were all round us, like ready to fill us in. Well, Jack wasn't going to protect you, was he? Jack wasn't protecting nobody, no, but it was, yeah, your fault. Yeah, I know, but I, I was, I was, I didn't go off the, you always say, just keep on the green stuff, so you didn't go, so it wasn't our fault. The fans just came on, I was saying to the ref, like, it's not going to get abandoned, is it? It's like, no, no. I think what it was, the week before, Sheffield United sealed promotion. The, yeah. And it all kicked off, sort of like. Oh, but we should have done it like two or three games before as well. We just, we started drawing games and that. And but to be fair though, there was no better place to achieve promotion than a home game at the oh, end. Oh yeah, it's been the last, the last game. It just felt so easy. I think yeah. they were obviously on all day, weren't? They? And as soon as you got that first goal, it was brilliant. It was a canter in the end. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But the scenes of joy at the end, mm. everybody going on the pitch yeah. yourself. Sunglasses on, stripped to the waist, giving, yeah. it, giving it the big and <laughs> Sunglasses. Like. Someone um, emailed the club, you know, wanting them back. They wanted the sun. He, he put them on me, and he, uh, he emailed the club wanting them back. I said, don't, I don't, know, know, where, where, they don't know where they've gone, mate. Yeah, they're on the, they're they'll on the be the floor in Fanny's somewhere, dance yeah. floor somewhere. So promotion, got ourselves into the championship, and we took it to the wire, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, that was, uh, again, scenes... That was a better feeling than getting promoted. What do you think? Oh, 100%, yeah. I think because we expected the promotion, so I think we had it in our heads that we were doing it, but that, as soon as Forrest scored two, didn't they? Yeah. And we hardly scored that season. To score three, it was just, what a feeling. I mean, I'll be, it missed about five chances that game, easy chances as well, and then he goes and scores that one. You scored, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I scored the equaliser. Yeah. Yeah. The first, first goal of the season, that. Yeah, equalised last game. And even that tells you we've gone from double figures. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know, yeah. And then one goal, it yeah. just shows you as a team, we mm. weren't the same. Yeah. We had downgraded a lot of positions, didn't we? We brought yeah. a lot of players in that yeah. weren't probably as good as mm. we were expecting. Yeah. But that last game, though, the spirit was fantastic oh, in that last class, game yeah. I mean to be what 2-1 down with 4 minutes to go or something I know I think my celebration Albie's goal you, you see me fist pumping sprinting off about 50 yards and I don't think I've ever been so tired I think that's the quickest I've ever moved I don't think I've ever seen you sprint 50 yards if I'm honest you don't have to sprint if you're in the, in the right positions do you but on a serious note you got, we got promoted we yep. struggled in championship but in that season the championship could you see all the cracks coming again of the season after when it all Fell apart. Obviously, I was a captain, so the manager would he'd like tell Nick, you know, the sports scientist come to come get me. And he just knew what what was going because it was always the day before payday. I was like, oh no, not again. And then we just go in, manager say you're not getting paid again. Uh, but we had um, we had a call with Ant- Ken Anderson, 
and we were just asking him questions, and he just suddenly said, oh, "I don't like the, I don't like the way this is going, so I'm going to end the call now." Uh, Who were you with then? Uh, it was me, the gaffer, Andrew Taylor, and Ben Anik, the goalie. But I can tell you honestly, nothing got heated with us. He just said, "I just don't think he liked our questions, questioning him when we were getting paid and stuff." Till it's got uh, to be hard, on it? For different players, oh, young yeah. ones, well, older ones, establish. All of you us. You might have. Yeah. yeah. Well, all the lads, I had to pay stuff out of my savings and that, which you don't want to do. But luckily it was there. Young lads struggled. like. But um, it was new owners had to pay. Had to pay us in, I think, October or whatever it was when they, when they bought the club. So the new owners who paid? Yeah, they had to, yeah. It's the outstanding a, monies. Yeah. Jesus. Ken got, it, Ken got his money as well, didn't he? Well, that's the thing, isn't I think it? I think he mean, did all right out of it, Ken. Of course he did. Yeah, he got a bit, yeah. I think, I think he, got, he made it out of it. Oh, yeah. He got, he got more than any of us got. But, but your job as a skipper, I mean, that's I don't envy you at all because your job as a skipper then is to go and convey it to the, yeah. to the dressing room. Well, I, yeah, I hate stuff like that. I, I, like, I'll talk on the pitch, but I hate, like, having meetings and stuff. I hate meetings and, like, I love doing stuff like this, but talking in front of your mates is just weird, isn't it? Especially with bad news. Oh yeah, well, You've not got the, good news, have you? They knew that. They knew every time it was never, never going to be good news. Yeah. But was it ever on a promise? Was it ever like you'll get paid next week, or was it just the fact that you're not getting paid? I think yeah. I think we got always got told that oh, it'll be coming, it'll be coming. But then day before payday, they're not getting paid. But then we we just going out to train as normal. Like what other job would go for six months without pay? Was but, that how long it was? Mm-hmm. Six. Well, months? yeah, it was, we got Januarys and then Didn't I think contracts the end. Season. Beginning of July, don't they? End of June, no one got wow. anything. So Anderson but, made but, sorry, money in the end. Pe- think. People yeah. thought though, they say, they say you're footballers, you can, aff- you, yeah, you can afford it, can't you? You don't really get the sympathy vote because no, you, you, you earn plenty of money. Yeah, and that, and it's not you the do, case. but then your bills are well go with your wage lifestyle that you're not getting. Yeah, but, but everything. I know there were rumours like nothing were getting paid as well as the players. You know, like you know yeah. the refreshments in the club, the food. Oh, yeah. Was stuff getting sold out then, like stripped or was it? Did we not sell the training ground? What you were talking about? Yes, yeah, yeah, Exton went to, to Wigan, Wigan, to Wigan it, was somewhere. it? <coughs> Exton went to Wigan initially, yeah. Then to Preston yeah. after that. Uh, but to, to like Chris, Gary, to Gary, Chris back in the, his old kitchen, burning it down, isn't he? Yeah, our chef, Gary Medine. Yeah, you know, players had yeah, got so, sold. Yeah. Rob Holden, Zach, Zach Clough. Clough. Yeah, you no, know, so players had been going as well. Money, decent money would come oh, in. Yeah, million. And yeah. Gary but, Dean was a great fee, six million, wasn't that? Mm. Zach was, I think he was a couple of million, wasn't he? He was a couple, and Rob Holden was Rob, a couple yeah. as well. So you're at least 10 million there. Oh, yeah. Well, what did and I And not arriving at the football club. No, it wasn't, no, it wasn't, no. We took it to the depths, really, and I mean, you, you were about there when it was that close to going out of business. Oh, yeah. But I, I was, yeah, I was there ready to sign my contract uh, for another two years, so I would have got me 10 years. Well, that would have been a law contract as well. Wages? Yeah, I don't know. Oh what yeah, figure, oh, right? no, yeah, it wasn't wasn't massive, no, by any sort of imagination. But um, but I just wanted I just wanted to be there. But I got told it it won't um, it won't start till the club gets bought, and I mean there was no guarantee that would happen. Alden was there, ready to ready to offer me something. And I was like, well, and obviously looking back now, I wish I would have stayed. I mean, it was a month to the day it got bought, so obviously I wish I did now. The biggest mistakes in your career? I wouldn't say a mistake, a bit of regret, definitely. A bit of regret, yeah. I always say I have no regrets in football, but apart from that one, leaving leaving Bolton. But then you didn't know, did you? It could have went yeah. tits up. I remember talking to you in the car park at the hotel yeah. just before you'd gone, and I yeah. said, you don't go. And you're like, what can I do? I know. Because you were, you were torn, do I hang on, and it never happens, yeah. do I miss out on this? And it was like, you... Yeah. I told could, my agent, I'm, I, I'm st- I said, I'm staying at Bolton. We were in retreat having a meal. And he said, what do you want to do? I said, I was like that. And he said, I know what you want to do. Yeah. So we got to the stadium ready to sign. And, and yeah, I was I was buzzing to stay there. But then I just obviously got that phone call saying, anyway, the contract won't, take, won't start till it gets bought. So I obviously rang a couple of people and said, you're going to have to, it's a job, isn't it? You're going to have to. So you go into Oldham. Yeah. Make the decision with a heavy heart. Mm. You leave, you go to Oldham. How quickly did things turn there? It was all right. The first season was all right. Um, we got cut short, didn't it? Uh, COVID was right at the end of that season. Uh, and then, yeah, 
<laughs> downhill from there. But I was the PFA rep and the captain as well, so I was getting it from both ends. You're a glutton for this, uh, I, I don't by the know, way. Go I don't back know why. The dressing room. Because I'm a rubbish organiser, so I don't know why I get these jobs. But um, yeah, we were supposed to get, um, what is it where they pay a bit? Furlough. Furlough, yeah. We were supposed to get a furlough and the club said we're, we're, we're not paying any on top of furlough. So for me, it would have been an 80% wage drop. I said, well, I'm not, I'm not doing that. No chance. And we got put in a group with, I got put in a group with every other captain from League Two. So I said, oh, hello, it's David from Oldham. What's all your situation? So all the club are paying the, on top, topping up the wages at least to 80%. But there was only Oldham that weren't going to pay anything on top. So a lot of us were missing out. I think, yeah, I think obviously I was probably the highest 80%. I think that some lads was 73%, 75%. A lot of them, they counted, they counted on that money and they weren't, they weren't going to get it. So I had to tell the, the owners that we're, we're not, not signing that. But they did, they did tell us the week before that we were going to get it. And then we had another Zoom meeting and they said, oh, we're not, you're not getting anything now. They were gaffer then, was it Harry Kuhl? Uh No, he was the season after. It was um, the Burton manager, Dino Marmaria. He was always at, an Andy lad, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's always a, he's he's a big a tank. He's a beast, together, isn't he? Yeah, he's a big tank. But he was the same. He, was, he, he wasn't getting any furlough either, so he was with us. Yeah, it was just horrible. Then, You're unlucky at end of your career, aren't you? You've gone <laughs> I know. from the fire to the fire. But then, yeah, I had to tell, obviously, the owners and they wouldn't let me. The next season, there was only two of us left that we that were owed money. The keeper got shipped out to Aberdeen on loan. And I said, well, I said, I'm not going anywhere. I said, I'm not letting you bully me. No chance. So they just they wouldn't let me play. Yeah, but a bit more than that. They're a bit arsy with you, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they put me with the kids. Um, you got trained with the kids? Oh, yeah, trained with the kids, yeah. Which I, I said, that's fine. I said, uh, the um, the manager came up. The young manager came up to me. He said, oh, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you have to." Do that. I said, "I said, I said, don't worry." I said, "I'll tell you now. I won't mess about. I won't do anything wrong." So I was there on time every every day. So they were trying all sorts. They tried to uh, they made me move back over to Manchester way without me missus and kids because we'd moved back over here. Did you? Oh yeah, well, yeah. I went and stayed in my mate's house. Yeah. Um, I found out they put a tracker on my car. Did what? they? Yeah, they put a tracker. Without on you me <laughs> Without me not, but I knew it. I, for some reason, because they wanted to check you out if you weren't staying at your yeah. mates and you go. Yeah. But I, obviously they couldn't do any. After. And then we had. I a, mean that's that's so much that ah, it's yeah. gone too past. And we had, that, we had like it? meeting with the uh, the guy when I was leaving. He said, "So what, where were you on these dates?" I was thinking, "Well, that's a bit weird." That. And then I found out of um, one of the old a different director who'd fell out with the other ones. He said, "Oh, I've got I've, I've got some I've got something to tell you that, that they did something to you." I said, "What?" He said, "Well, have a guess." And I knew, I said before, I asked someone, I said, do you think they'll put a track on my car? And I said to him, I said, they put a track on my car, didn't they? He said, oh yeah, they did. I said, well, I said, well, get me the minutes from the meeting then, because we were supposed to have the director's meeting, got all approved. He said, oh, that wasn't minuted that one. I said, yeah, of course it wasn't, yeah. That's well, illegal now, from the start, isn't it? Yeah, it is illegal, yeah. yeah. So obviously they couldn't do anything and with nothing it. nothing would have stood up in court. No, anyway. exactly, yeah. I wish it, but then I, I, took, I took my pay up, like I got what I wanted, but then thinking about it again, I, would have, I should have just held out and took him to court. And... In that second season, is it right that there was interest from Bolton again? Uh, it was the first season. Well, yeah, in January, back, yeah. Wasn't there? But then, um, obviously, the older morning said, you're not going anywhere. I said, I said that's fine. I said, I've, I'm nasty to go. I said, I'd be happy to go back. But, uh, yeah, the owner wouldn't let me go anywhere. So. Was it Phil that made the approach? No, I think it was Keith Hill. Keith Hill. Keith Hill, yeah. I think the gaffer had just left. Uh, um, Parkinson had just left and he, he'd come in, hadn't he? Would you get a bit excited? Yeah, I was a bit, yeah, I was a bit excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, was happy. I, w- I would have went back. But was I, there a few more chaps in this? No, that was it. That was the one. Yeah, but the owner said, you're not you're not going. And that's that. So I, said, I said, that's fine. I said, I'm, I was happy there. I was at Oldham then. Was he all right with you then, the, the owner? He was all right with me then. Apart from when I said, I'm not taking an 80% pay. Got and then it yeah. just turned completely. Oh, yeah. 36 now. You've been a warrior. No, you have. The ultimate warrior. And you've put your body, you know what I mean? Yeah. you put your body to test as well. Yeah. Is there another season in you? I hope so. Um, this last season was a struggle, like keeping fit. I know myself, I have to lose some weight. I do, to, if I want to. I don't to. see it, but... Because I'm tall, isn't it? Right. I, t- I stretched my weight out, but yeah, I do I do need to lose a bit. That's probably That probably didn't help. But um, yeah, I love football. It just hurts, doesn't it? I don't know if you... Towards the end of your career, what you what you were like? Not good. 
Yeah. Yeah. It is and it is, it is, yeah. I mean, I, last two times I pulled my calf was in the warm up. Two warm ups. I was starting one game and last game of the season I was I was on the bench just coming back from that the calf injury I did before and it just like did something in a warm up. But uh, I hope I can get another year. I, I want a twenty year career. I'd like that's what I am, I'm aiming for and I think I made my debut in the 05 season. So a couple of years. A little bit to go. I know, yeah, I don't know if I'll, I'll manage it, but... But as you I'll start try. to question yourself, don't you? Because you is do. it worth it? Is it, yeah. you know, is it going to keep happening? Well, that's why, when I always used to hear 35 was like retirement age, I, I always used to think, there's no chance I'm retiring then. I could easily keep playing, but it's an actual thing, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's, it's wear and tear injuries, isn't yeah. it? It catches up with you. I said to you, yeah, I said to me physio, I said, what, what is actually going on with me, Cass? He, he said, do you know the truth? I said, yeah. He said, you're old. I said, is that it? I said, no shit, Sherlock. I thought he was going to tell me something scientific, but yeah. <laughs> he said that actually, that's, you get a lot of scar tissue and that, so. But yeah, hopefully I can get another season. We hope Play so as well. long as you can, innit? Yeah, you absolutely. Say I, I said that to you earlier, yeah. you know, you've got to keep playing. Mm. Even if you're down a dozen games a year, yeah. keep playing. My, my, my missus is not so sure, because obviously she, she, she sees me limping around the house and that. Away from the game then, what's your interest away from the game? What's, what, what fills your boat now? Obviously, wrestling, number one always. Um, but coaching my little lads team, right? Just just took over. My little girls into gymnastic, which is obviously a bit. Obviously, I'm not a coach, so it's a bit hard to get into it. But I love watching watching her at her shows and that. But yeah, coaching my little lads and taking them to footy. Um, just it's just a little like a little version of you, aren't the boys? I mean, we went out. My little girl was going. She was just causing carnage in the house. So I said to me little lad, "Come on, we're going for some food." Just, just sat in the restaurant with me, little lad. It's just class. It's quality. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Quality yeah. time. And if you can coach them as well, that's a bonus. Yeah, that's it. And, it, and it's, it's half of the team is his schoolmates, so we see them every day it's on the school run. It's, it's brilliant. Any aspirations of coaching at a higher level? Um, I don't know. I might get the urge for it, won't you? But mm. always, I've said I'd, I'd rather coach the kids and do like a soccer school and that. Because I mean, flipping out, money spinners aren't and them things now. But I think I'd rather coach kids that don't answer back, do they? Maybe start your own academy, that sort of thing? Yeah, definitely around around these parts. Um, and then maybe you might get the urge to, to go into adult stuff. But yeah, just keeping lads happy and that. And I can't, keeping I them off the street, get them something to do? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, keep them busy, tire them out. I think you said earlier, keeping you off the street as well. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, Touch on the wrestling then. Where where did that come from? Where did the wrestling? I was my dad. We, we we didn't have Sky um, back in the day. But he worked on the old rig, so he had Sky when he he, he went off offshore. He just bring me back WrestleMania '94. It was my first one, and that was it. Hooked. Rapid fifteen. Here we go. Rory McIlroy or Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods. PGA or Live Golf? I live. Tea or coffee? Tea. Favorite manager? Uh, super Phil. Okay. Middlesbrough or Bolton? Ooh. Christ. <laughs> Can I say Middlesbrough now? Because we're near, nearer Middlesbrough. You do whatever you want. Yeah, Middlesbrough for now. If you ask me another time, Bolton, it'll be Bolton. Favourite WWE wrestler? S Ric Flair. Favourite golf course played? Oh, crikey. Saltburn. Best golf in football? You. Best stadium played in? Old Trafford. Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Lynx, Lynx or Parkland Golf? Parkland. Sambuca or Jaeger? Sambuca, on its own. Jaeger with Red Bull. Hole in one? No. First result you look for on a Saturday? <laughs> it sounds bad, but Oldham. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I want them to lose. Now they're all right now, new owners, so they're not bad now. Ryder Cup or the Open? Ryder. That concludes your 15. Good stuff. Nice. Only sat on the fence, really, with the Middlesbrough Bolton. Ah, no, but yeah. Do you know what I think, Joe? He's been a belter. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> You've been a belter. Thank you, big man. Much no appreciated. Problem. I really do. And uh, I told you, John, not many people get me playing golf. Let's hope... Anything uh, for you. Let's hope we can do this course justice when we go on it. I won't sure be. Sure you will, John. You're on fire. <laughs> <laughs>